today I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, spinning logo here with an animated uh, icon of your own choosing. So first we need to find an animated GIF file. Uh, you can look on the, the internet for that and then load it up into Earth and View. Select the bitmap files and just get the total size of the bitmap files we're going to use. Maximum is 255, so don't choose more than 255 frames. Uh, we'll use MDisk to create a floppy disk image. Copy all the bitmap files into the new MDisk uh, virtual uh, floppy disk. Dismount the floppy disk to save the files to the um, .ima file. And then finally compress the .ima file using uh, LZMA encode. This step is optional, you don't have to compress it if you don't want to. Um, and then we edit the myetb.config file to include the animation code. And this is the animation code here. Uh, I've set a delay of 1, which is the fastest possible. The last frame is 255 because um, the animation I've chosen actually has um, 300 and odd frames, but the highest we can go is 255. This sets the X and Y position on the menu. So I looked on uh, the internet and I found a animated GIF here called bean.gif and um, I've got Earth and View already installed on my system and I've also got MDisk on my system. So the first thing we need to do is to split this uh, animated GIF uh, into its uh, component parts and we can do that with Earth and View. So here I've opened the uh, bean.gif in Earth and View and you can see it's playing there. So I'll create an empty folder on the desktop here called Mr. Bean and we'll do options extract all frames browse to the folder make sure you've got BMP selected and click start. And we should now have in here the frames and you can see there's actually quite a few of them 332 to be exact okay we can get rid of earth and view we don't need it anymore so here's my folder with the extracted bitmap files in it uh, we need to find out how big this folder is so uh, if I select them all and do properties it says it's about 9, 9.5 megabytes on the disk so it's going to be at least 9.5 so we can close that so now we need to run in disk and we need to create uh, a floppy volume So on the desktop, so I make a file called bean.ima on the desktop, and the file's got to be—it's got to be at least 9.5. So um, let's just make it 10 megabytes. It shouldn't matter too much if you make it a bit bigger because um, we're going to compress the image anyway. So uh, so it's 10 megabytes, and we need to make it a floppy, and then click on OK. So it's now made the image but we need to format that so we give it a label of bean and it's fat and it's 10 megabytes it should be pretty, pretty quick to do there we go so there's the volume now we need to uh, create a directory inside here uh, you can call it whatever you like um, but it's just because um, on, you can't have a lot of files in the root of a fat volume. So if you create a, a, a subdirectory first, you can put all the files in here. So now we need to copy all the files into here. So I'll find the Mr. Bean files. Copy them. Paste them into there. OK, 
Okay, there they are. So I can close that down. Close that down. And now I need to remove the volume. It's done. And if I look on my desktop, I have a bean.ina file here. And if I double click on it, it contains all of the files. Okay, so now we have our bean.ina file, uh, but it's best to uh, compress this to make it a lot smaller. So if we have a look at the size at the moment, it's uh, 10 megabytes. And uh, if we go to the ETB uh, USB drive, the ISO docs ETB utilities LZNA folder, you can see there's an LZNA, as a, an LZNA encode file script here. So just simply drag and drop the file onto there. It'll say, do you want to delete the original? If you say no, And that will have encrypted this file. So there's the original file. And there is the compressed one. So let's have a look at the properties on that. And it's 1.2 megabytes. So now we need to copy this file to um, our USB drive. So um, you can see I've got bean.ina here, so I've copied it here. And if you look in the sample my UTP config file, you will see an example of how to set up the animation. So here you can see the section animate. And if you cut and paste this section here into your my config file and uncomment the, uh, the three hashes, the lines with three hashes. And what we get is this. So here you can see I've added to my myetb.config file, which originally had the animation for the uh, the um, etb icon. And I've now added in these this extra these extra lines here. Uh, in fact, we don't we don't need these lines here at all. Um, they're not actually used anymore because we're going to replace them with these lines. So I've set the animation to infinite here. Delay is 1, so it's very fast. That's the fastest possible setting. Last is 255 because the the most number of frames we can have is 255. If you specify more than 255, you'll find that it will loop. It will give a very short loop. If I, if I specified 280 there, it would only loop about 25 frames. So 255 is the maximum in this case, even though there's 330 frames. I'm afraid we can't use all of them. So we could actually have deleted some of the frames from the... Uh, from the INA file. Uh, anyway, um, X position is 625 and the Y position is 160. You can you can just work that out yourself for where you want it to positioned. The file name is going to be um, on the floppy disk. So it's going to be FD3 slash bean because we made a subfolder called bean. And then this is the first frame that it's going to display. So it's 0001.bmp. Uh, and then finally we have to um, specify the floppy disk uh, file itself which is I'm going to put in the slash iso folder underscore iso folder which is called bean.ina so we'll save that and we'll see what that looks like now it displays 255 animations then it will continuously loop round So, I hope you managed to follow that. I'll just re reboot that and you can see it start from the beginning. So that's how to set up an animation.